A new month is here, and that means it's time to look back at last month's housing market stats. Happy December, everyone. Sean Ryan here with the Blue Coast team and EXP Realty of Canada, and this is your November 2021 housing market update. Before I jump into the numbers, here's my interpretation of how things went last month and what's going to come in the future. I still think it's going to be very much a seller's market for the next six months or so. Obviously December we have that natural slowdown every year around this time. Rates still remain uh, very low and then we're still seeing that 15 to 20 percent of the buyers are coming from the GTA which really I think is driving prices high. So what I would say to do is keep an eye on the market. Probably if you bought three years ago or, or longer, your house is worth a lot more than you think. And also if you're up for a refi in the next six years, I would look at doing that sooner than later as rates could go up and that could be saving you thousands of dollars. Okay, now let's break down the numbers. November, we had 374 active listings and we had 145 sold, totaling about 67 million in sales volume. Compared to this to November in 2020, where we had 164 home sell with a total of $59 million in sales volume. November 2021 had an average of 22 days to sell versus last November where it took an average of 28 days to sell. The average sale price was around $460,000 versus $360,000 in November 2020, which is a 30% increase. 33% of those homes were in the $399,000 to $600,000 price range. Now let's look closer at some of the main areas here in Sarnia and Lambton individually. Point ever, we had one home sell, having an average sale price of $480,000. And there's currently two active listings there right now. College Park had one home sell for $655,000 and there's no active listings there right now. Sherwood Village saw four home sell, having an average sale price of $463,000 and there's one active listing. So great price point for Sherwood now. Heritage Park, we saw two homes sell, having an average sale price of $650,000 and there's two active listings there right now. Coronation Park and the Tree Streets regrouped them together and they saw three homes sell, having an average sale price of $435,000 and there's two active listings there right now. Cardiff Acres, we saw five homes sell, having an average sale price of $470,000 in Cardiff Acres, that's huge. And we got three active listings. Guthrie Park, seven homes sell, having an average sale price of $410,000. And there's three active listings there right now. High Park area, six homes sell, having an average sale price of $435,000. And there is one active listing there right now. Sarnia's Northgate area had six homes sell, having an average sale price of $380,000. And there is four active listings right now. So let's go to downtown Sarnia. Let's look at all the single family and the condos. We saw four properties sell. Average sale price, $370,000. And there's two active listings right now. Min Village saw seven homes selling, having an average sale price of $330,000. And there is no active listing, so some great gains there for Mid Village. South End Sarnia had eight homes sell, having an average sale price of 280, so just below that $300,000 $300, price range for November. And there's currently three active listings. Now let's go to Rapids Parkway. We saw only two homes sell in Rapids, average sale price, 690,000. There's currently three active listings there right now. And Twin Lakes, some good activity in there, four listings sold. Average sale price up to $750,000 in that area, and there is four active listings. Now, Wilshire Park had four homes sell. Average sale price is up to 530 in Wilshire with two active listings currently as of today. Woodland Park and Oak Acres had nine homes sell, having an average sale price of $440,000, and there is two active listings in there right now. Now, Woodrow Beach, Wees Beach, and the Oak Corners area, we saw four homes sell, Average sale price $580,000, and there's currently one active listing there right now. Now, Blackwall had only two homes sell, having an average sale price of a whopping $1.5 million, and there is currently two active listings right now. Now, let's go all the way around to Bright's Grove. We saw three homes sell, average sale price of Bright's Grove $550,000 and we got four active listings now. Now for the all Plinton, Wyoming, we saw six homes sell, 
average sale price $720,000 and there's currently 12 active listings there right now and last but not least let's look at St. Clair Township we saw nine homes sell average sale price $780,000 and there's currently 15 active listings there so thanks for checking out our November 2021 housing market update and remember to put Sean on your line